Rated mature. Hello, Kickstarter community. Christian Allen here. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video update. Uh, the team has been heads down uh, working on the game, uh, releasing patches, fixes, uh, features, and content uh, that I'm going to go through today. Um, especially for the Kickstarters, uh, who I just realized I have not uh, put an update on the Kickstarter page uh, with all the uh, patch information and content and features that have been released since launch. So I want to reiterate uh, my and our uh, sincere apologies for folks that um, uh, have not been happy with the game uh, for whatever reason. Um, obviously, we want any uh, supporters and customers uh, to be happy, and we've been working hard to address uh, issues and add features uh, to the game. So we've released five major patches uh, over the past few weeks, as well as, uh, I believe, four or five uh, hotfixes. Uh, we've been trying to be as proactive as possible in uh, identifying issues uh, that the community has had and address those. Um, some are uh, easier and faster, and some take more time. Uh, one of the big uh, focuses early on uh, was in some of the initial issues that were at launch uh, in involving uh, enemy AI that could not hear um, uh, single-player disconnect messages after attempting to join a multiplayer game and going into a single-player. Uh, those were addressed in the first few days after launch. Uh, we've also addressed a lot of Steam connection issues and added a lot of Steam server browser support. Um, wanted to talk through a little bit about um, kind of how you know we ended up where we are. Uh, one of the things that tends to get lost is we are an extremely small team. Uh, we're a small independent developer. Uh, we don't have the budget or support uh, that a game like uh, a Call of Duty uh, from a, uh, studios like companies like Activision or, or Ubisoft. And um, you know where we kind of fell down a lot of the, the places was due to um, uh, QA. Uh, the, what our QA processes um, weren't up to snuff, and we've definitely learned uh, a lot of lessons uh, from that. In hindsight as well, uh, we should have opened up the game to broader testing uh, beyond just the Kickstarters after the alpha and kept it in, in more of an open beta state uh, to be able to find more of those issues before launch. Uh, but with that being said, and, and again with our sincere apologies, we have been working extremely hard to implement uh, fixes, uh, features, and now adding new content to the game uh, to increase your uh, enjoyment in the game. Uh, and we're continuing to add that content. So uh, keep an eye on uh, the Kickstarter page, which I'll uh, start updating. I uh, apologize for not updating the Kickstarter page with these patch release notes. Uh, if you haven't been following us on uh, our forums or on the Steam forums, uh, I'll be adding those. Uh, I'm going to be posting this giant list that you're going to see with lots of fixes and, and uh, things. And then moving forward, we're also going to be launching additional content. Uh, this week we just launched the uh, cargo ship firefight maps. Because a map like cargo ship is so large, uh, it's actually not a very good game mode for or map for uh, classic uh, team deathmatch because the teams tend not to be able to find each other. So we're releasing smaller gameplay spaces that will support uh, better team deathmatch and last man standing as well as our classic uh, attack defend game mode. Some other things I've uh, been asked about is the uh, mod tools. Uh, mod tools is something that we'd hope to get out earlier rather than later, um, but there has been a delay because our engineers are focused on uh, implementing uh, new features and gameplay uh, critical uh, fixes. Uh, so the mod editor has taken us a little bit longer to get out um, than we wanted to. Uh, that is a planned release. Uh, in addition, I hope to very soon uh, release the Kill House building block content uh, that even so even in the short term uh, players will be able to get uh, the appropriate UDK and um, uh, start building that content and then once we get the mod tools out those will just uh, transfer right over. Um, and that, that information on, on, on the appropriate UDK is in our modding forum at Sreeland.com. Uh, next, I wanted to talk about uh, Xbox. A lot of people have been uh, asking about Xbox, what its status is, when it's going to come out. Uh, are some of these connection issues uh, also uh, on uh, Xbox? Um, Xbox uses a different uh, networking online subsystem architecture than obviously PC and, 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 and Steam does. Um, you know, one of the mistakes that we made during development is uh, there were quite a few vocal Kickstarters that, that wanted to be able to play the game without Steam uh, and not have to utilize Steam uh, to access the game. And so we tried to walk a line between Steam integration and also supporting the people that quite frankly hate Steam 
um, that was a strategic mistake uh, that, that we made. Um, and so we launched without a lot of uh, features that, that, that Steam can support. And we've been integrating a lot of those for the vast majority of players that, um, that, that do want uh, Steam functionality. However, uh, those issues are not present in Xbox. It's a completely different architecture. Um, uh, when we decided to hold on Xbox, uh, there was a few uh, technical certification requirements uh, regarding uh, issues that, that the Xbox version had when you unplug the network cable, or um, there's two other issues. One was regarding to playing on a um, memory stick, and one issue with uh, party invites. Um, those are being fixed, but as well, we decided to hold a little bit longer on Xbox because there are some gameplay, uh, uh, both improvements um, and features that have been added on PC that we want to get into the Xbox version uh, at launch so that we don't have to try to title update those uh, back into the Xbox, which is, is always not a nice process, so that at launch, uh, the Xbox gamers are getting um, the improvements uh, in features that the PC gamers got as well. Um, but once we pass that initial launch window, once we decided to hold, we have to now work with uh, Microsoft and 505 to identify that new launch date. Uh, once we have that launch date firmly uh, identified, uh, I'll be you know, uh, sharing that with you guys uh, as soon as possible. Uh, last but not least, I uh, wanted to let you know um, that uh, early adopters uh, uh, should have received uh, a, um, a gift copy of the game uh, that you can share with your friends or trade with um, trade with uh, uh, folks for, I guess, Team Fortress hats? Is that what you do on Steam? Team Fortress hats? Uh, or other things. Um, and uh, we also uh, are hoping to launch uh, Steam trading cards uh, soon. We've got all those set up. We're just waiting on Steam. And last but not least, the game uh, is on a special sale right now on Steam. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the game, uh, or if your friends haven't checked out the game, uh, especially since launch, please uh, you know check it out again with the with the um, with all the updates that we've had uh, below this video. You're going to see um, five major patches, uh, some hot fixes, and we're continuing uh, to work on that as well. We'll be adding more content um, in the short term. The content that we are planning on adding uh, will be free, uh, and will also be added into the Xbox version as well. We really appreciate the community's feedback. It's you know like I said, we've tried to be as proactive as possible in identifying those issues that you guys are bringing up and getting those into fixes. Some things are easier, some things are harder and take longer, um, but if you look at the list of, of the issues that we've been addressing, the fixes that we've put in, the new features we've been adding, and correlate that to the posts that have been made and the messages that have been sent and all those things, you pretty much see a direct correlation um, because we, you know, as we've always been, uh, wanted to be as reactive uh, and uh, positive with the community as possible. We want to make sure as a supporter or a customer uh, that you're happy with the game and feel that you've got a good value uh, for, for your dollars. So thank you very much um, for your support and uh, I'll see you online.